It's Morton Joe 245 here, and today we're taking a look at Roblox. This is Roblox, G.I. Joe's Heavy Machine Gunner. It was first available in 1984 and also 1985, and then he was discontinued in 1986, where he did uh, get a replacement, uh, or not necessarily a replacement, but a new version of version 2 in 1986. Then in uh, 1988, there was version 3, which was the Tiger Force Roblox, which we use as the same exact mold. Then in 1992, there was version 4, which that figure was recalled uh, because of a hazardous accessory. Then in version, uh, then in 1993, there was version 5, which was the same figure as version 4, but in different colors. And then in, in 1993, there was version 6, which was drastically different from the other Roblox. And then in 1994, the final year of G.I. Joe, there was version 7, which was the same mold as version 6, just in different colors. So, from version 1 to version 7, there was quite a bit of change. Roblox is African-American, but he wasn't the first African-American character. The first African-American character is Stalker, which was 1982. Then in 1983, we got Doc. Then in 1984, we got Roblox. In 1985, there was Alpine, I believe. I do not have that figure, unfortunately. And in uh, 1986, we got Iceberg. So, starting with Roblox accessories, the most generic one we have is Roblox helmet. And, um, and he has the same helmet as Duke, because his helmet does not have the holes. But this was a very generic helmet, you know, used to the A2 run, you know, figures in 83, and also still being used with figures in 84. And uh, so there's not really much about it, like I said, it's just it's very generic. But the only problem with mine, you can see you can put it on the head right here, but mine is very loose. It wants to uh, fall off easily, you, you can see. But, um, which, you know, the head doesn't look better with the helmet. Um, but we'll get into that when I talk over the uh, details of this figure. But for some reason, mine's loose. I don't know if that's just a problem on my, on my figure here, or if uh, if anybody else has this problem, you know, you can let me know in the comments. Uh. This could be just be a defect on mine. The helmet might be wallered out or something. His next accessory is his backpack, which is a pretty cool backpack. And it's got an ammo box, which is removable. And um, now this peg right here and this peg right here, this peg is for the tripod of his gun, which I'll show you how that works in just a minute. But this, both of these pegs can be snapped off. And matter of fact, I have an extra backpack that does have the ammo box peg snapped off. So that would be something I would, would look for if you're looking for this accessory which as you can see this is the hole right there which this does peg onto so as you can see there was a, a lot gray accessory pack version of this backpack released and um now the uh ammo box on mine has actually got the peg that goes on this other backpack which was one of my doings as when i was a kid because when i was a kid this part but the robot backpack was missing and then i had the ammo tray for this other one so i thought maybe this would interchange and I think the peg is a little bit different on this one than the other one because it snapped the peg off, as you can see. But, um, so still, but, you know, accessory pad version this might be, one, be something you look out for if you're looking for a robot. Make sure you have the right accessory. Okay, the last accessory is his big machine gun, which, uh, this is supposed to be a, a browning machine gun, I believe, that's modified. As you, as you can see, it's got a tripod, which can be unplugged and the tripod can be mounted to that peg I showed you earlier on the backpack there as you can see it just snaps on like so I wouldn't apply a whole bunch of pressure to it because you know it could snap off so I'd be careful doing this I wouldn't just pull it on and off all the time but uh, looking at the machine gun itself as you can see it's a pretty good representation of a browning machine gun now this one has a pistol grip on the back that uh, Roblox had modified to, to use and on the card art this looks like a the pistol of a the end of a M1911 it's kind of what that you know looks like there and uh now a browning machine gun you know this goes with the theme of robot you know because yeah a browning machine gun is, is not something you just pick up and carry around like a normal assault rifle because there's a reason why these are, are, are mounted because you know they're, they're big they're heavy and you know, a roadblock's supposed to be strong enough where he can carry one of these around like a standard assault rifle. Which the figure can hold this. Mine kind of gets a little bit of a loose grip 
on there. As you can see, he don't want to hold it good. Yep, if I can get him to kind of articulate around, get him to hold it by this peg right here, then it'll kind of stay in his hands. But as you can see, it just wants to fall out a lot. You have to really get in there. If you get him holding it and you don't touch him, he'll hold it just fine. But let's go over Roblox articulation. He had the standard articulation for G.I. Joe figures by 1984. He had a swivel uh, joint at the head there. He had a uh, hinge and swivel joint at his shoulder. He had the swivel arm battle grip articulation at an 83. So he could, you know, swivel all the way around at his bicep. Also had a hinge at his uh, upper arm right there. The figure was held together by a rubber o-ring, which uh, moved around the inside, which gave him a pretty good range of motion. He had a uh, ball joint at the hip and a bend at the knee. So let's take a look at the sculpt design and color of Robot, starting with his head. And um, as you can see, he's got, you know, black eyebrows, a uh, black mustache, and a black soul patch. Which, uh, black mustache is kind of similar to Stalker. Had He also had a black mustache, but he didn't have the soul patch, so that kind of makes Roblox a little more unique. And, uh, which they normally didn't paint the whites in the eyes. You know, that's very rare they ever painted white on the eyes. But as you can see, Roblox's head is shaped really odd. <laughs> but, um, that dropped in there. But, uh, why it's shaped like this, I don't know. That's why I think Roblox, uh, this figure kind of looks better with the helmet on even though most media appearances he doesn't have a helmet but it makes his head look a little more normal but um well overall though it's not a bad head sculpt it's actually pretty uh good but i just don't, you know like the shape of the head it's kind of weird which version 2 fixes this problem but uh going down he has um see a lot of his his shoulders and his chest here are exposed and he's got some, a some black web gear which goes on his back and his uh, front here, which connects to his, his belt. He's wearing a green uh, tank top with a uh, camouflage pattern, which this uh, tank top shirt actually reminds me of the tank top worn by Arnold Schwarzenegger in Predator. Going down, he, uh, before I go down here, his arms are both just bare with nothing on them, but he does have uh, green gloves on, which this one he has actually has like a wristwatch or something on his other arm, so that's kind of cool. So now going down to his waist piece, he has you know the belt which connects to his web gear. There's, there's a little bit of paint wear on, on the double book right there on mine. But you can see he's got pouches on both sides. A little different pouches too, it looks like. Going to the back, there's actually painted belt loops. He got two pockets on his rear end. And also says made in Hong Kong on his rear end. On his right leg, he has a a, a green knife in a sheath with uh, straps that goes all around his leg. And on his left leg, he has a black pistol and a pistol holster which is not connected so how he's actually has this on his leg uh i have no idea they should have painted like a black strap or something on here because it looks like the pistol is just floating on his leg it looks kind of weird but what that is i really can't tell what that is it may be like a 1911 it's got a really swoop back handle like a like a luger but um going down he has you know uh like tan colored pants or not tan, but kind of like a orangish brown colored pants, I should say. And uh, he's got on black boots with pretty good detail. His pants are tucked into his boots, which looks kind of cool. So let's take a look at Roblox file card. And the file card is put on the back of the box in which he was packaged. Yeah, heavy machine gunner, code name Roblox. That camera's not going to focus. There we go. File file name Hinton Mar Marvin F Hinton. There's his uh, CR number, primary military specialty, infantry heavy weapons, center grenade military specialty, hook, first place, Biloxi, Mississippi, which I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, grade E4. Roblox dream was to attend, was to be a gourmet chef. He was working as a bouncer to earn money to attend the Scoffier School in France, I don't know if I pronounced that either right. When an, I don't, when an army recruiter commits him, that the army could train him to be a chef, robot joint, but but found army menus and preparation techniques too appalling. Transferred to the infantry, qualified expert in M2 Browning 50 cal heavy machine gun, all Warsaw packed heavy MGs, M16, M19, M1 auto pistol. There's a quote that says, "A 50 cal Browning weighs 84 pounds. Add 50 pounds to the for the ammo. That's about 140." 134 pounds of steel during 
2930 FPS in the muzzle velocity at a cycle rate of 550 uh, rounds per minute. Anybody who can handle that doesn't need a, a machine gun to keep me anyway. That means Robot's a pretty strong guy. Okay, for Robot's many appearances, Robot was a, a pretty prominent character in uh, G.I. Joe Media. He appeared in many issues of the G.I. Joe comic books as well as the Sunbow animated series, but I'm not going to go into precise detail of every appearance because there's a lot of them and that would make this video incredibly long, so I won't go into precise detail this time. So what I think of Robot overall, I mean, this is totally a top tier figure. Now, uh, I did uh, find out the reason mine doesn't want to hold on to the gun is because I just uh, just noticed he has a cracked thumb, so I'm going to have to be very careful with that. And uh, another nitpick I have is uh, the head, the, sh head of the shape of his head looks a little weird, but I mean, other than that, this is an awesome figure and, uh, and one of my favorites that I actually own. So uh, if you like this video and want to see more like it, give me a thumbs up to help me out a lot and hit the subscribe button. Until next time.